You know, in addition to this Mardi Gras YouTube series, I've published the Mardi Gras Guide magazine. I've done books about Mardi Gras and individual crews. But for the past several years, I've had the pleasure of working with the Fox 8 local first news team. And we've done uh, quite a few features on Mardi Gras. And here's one of them I hope you might like. She just had the scepter in her hand, but everybody will step out to meet her. For the members of the original Illinois Club, traditions run deep. It's that sense of pride that has kept the oldest African-American carnival organization going for 125 years. It seems to me, uh, and I've studied this for some time, that the older organizations, almost all of them except original Illinois, although they have debutantes, it's more about the men in their club. But in original Illinois, it seems like it's almost always about the young women. That's true. That is true. It, when we were founded in 1895, Back at that point, it was co-ed. Our first president was a woman. And then they turned it over to the men, and I wasn't there to get the real deal, but they <laughs> said, okay, it's your organization, you run it. Yeah. But because our first president was a woman, then we always knew that our purpose was to be there for the debutantes and present them to society. Every year, debutantes are introduced at their ball. The Debs go through months of preparation. We want her to the outside of the circle. Everything from knowing how to properly walk. Ready, left foot first. How to dress and undergoing precise etiquette training. We do etiquette training. You got a whole book, don't you? Right. Yeah, with right. all kind of right. tips for everything from what fork to use. To, yeah. That I read it and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> but it's the group's signature dance that must be perfected. And it all began with the club's founder. The Chicago Glide is our signature dance, and so our founder, Mr. Wiley Knight, he was also a dance instructor. And so Wiley Knight said, okay, I see the ball and everybody does a waltz, but we need something that sets us apart. So as a dance instructor, he created the Chicago Glide. And the reason that we call it the Chicago Glide is because he was stationed in Chicago before he moved down to New Orleans. So he wanted to bring a little bit of that back, and then also that's why we're called Original Illinois Club. What do we know about Wally Knight? He must have been one heck of a guy, huh? I would think so. Uh, he, he saw something in, in New Orleans that he liked, which caused him to want to stay here. I mean, he worked for a wealthy family in New Orleans, and that family uh, allowed him to, uh, to come to a Mardi Gras celebration. Of course, all the Mardi Gras, big Mardi Gras celebrations were white. Sure. And so when he went to this celebration, he also noticed, being from Chicago, that there were no black celebrations for Mardi Gras. Yeah. So he decided he was going to try and do one. What Knight started more than a century ago has blossomed into an organization that takes its history very seriously. You know, it's all fun, but it's also important, isn't it? It's absolutely important. It's important for two reasons. It's important to... Uh, to, to emphasize what the young ladies have done, the, the achievements. These young ladies go on to be leaders, leaders of the community, leaders of the world community. And it's important to keep up the tradition. It's important for us to tell the story of what happened a long time ago. In New Orleans, Arthur Hardy, Fox 8 Local First.